Hello everyone. Welcome to the Qualtrol 109 to ITM 509 installation video. This is where we talk about how easy it is to install your new 509 ITM. 509 ITM usually comes with 8 output relays, which is a standard option. Now, in order to wire your output relays, you may have to refer your transformer drawing to make sure that all your alarms and trips are correctly wired up. You can set the set points of these relays using the remote's ITM software. Once you have wired up the relays, make sure that the Phoenix connector goes inside the term main terminal box and fits in tightly. In this scenario, we had 6 output relays wired up. So before this, you saw how we wired up the first 4 output relays and here we are trying to wire up the rest of the 2 output relays. Once you have wired up all the output relays, you can use a zip tie for cable management. It just makes it look good and avoids any interference when you are wiring other input modules. The new ITM509 utilizes a secondary clamp-on CT to simulate the winding temperature. These clamp-on CTs are provided with the, with the unit. Clamp-on CT comes with two wires, black and white. You need to make sure that you connect these two wires to the designated input module for CT. You can find the sticker on the back side of the 59 which calls out which input module is configured for what. With the secondary clamp-on CT, you don't have to worry about the polarity. You can wire up the black and white wires in either of the terminals. For more information, can refer our ITM 59 manual. Once you have wired up your CDs, your output relays, if you run into any open wires which you won't be connecting to your new ITM 59 monitor, you can use an insulation tape to make sure that they are not hanging around open and coming in contact with any of the metal. If you have any designated Insulation tape color, you can use that or use any other color if you don't, you don't have any designated color for the insulation tapes. This is where we were wiring the RTD on site. Now, there are two types of RTDs one that comes with four wires, other one that comes with three wires. The four wire RTD, you can cut the fourth wire, flush the jacket, and connect the rest of the three wires to the input module. For more information, you can refer to our 5.9 ITM manual that calls out specifically how to wire the wire RTD. Again, for cable management, you can use a zip tie to make sure it looks neat and clean and is not loose.
here as you can see we had a couple of wires open and which we weren't using to connect to the fiber 9. So we used an insulation tape to make sure that to avoid any contact with the metal. If you have any analog output loops that you would like to connect and to and make it uh, communicate with your SCADA system, you can use terminal PB2, terminal 1 to 8 to utilize any of the four output loops that the 59ITM comes with. You can change the set points, you can change the control signal of these output loops using the remote's ITM software. This is the most important part of the upgrade, upgrading process. The two wires that you see hanging were, are the cable coming from your primary CD. These two cables were initially connected to the coiled roll 109, 109 monitor that was used to measure the winding temperature based on the load of your transformer. However, with the new 509 ITM, you do not have to connect these wires directly. Instead, the 509 ITM utilizes a secondary clamp on CT as mentioned earlier. So in order to in order to measure the winding temperature you need to use these wires to make a loop of it. Now there are two ways to do that. One, you can either use a shorting junction in your control cabinet if you have any available. If you don't have any shorting junction available in your control cabinet, you can use a two-way connector and connect these two wires on either side. Once you have done that, you need to use the you need to take the clamp on CT and clamp it across one of these wires. That way, the 509 ITM will simulate the winding temperature based on the load of your transformer. Again, please make a note that you do not have to connect the primary CT cables directly to the new 509 ITM, which is the which is one of the different parts of the 509. And the Here we didn't have any empty shorting junction in the control cabinet so we used a two-way connector to make a loop of these two cut wires. Here you can see the 109 when it was initially installed and we have the new 509 installed right in the place where the old 109 was installed. This is how it looks from the back, the old 109 and the 509 when we, we were finished with the installation. So to give you a side by side view, this is how it looks like. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any further questions, please feel free Call us at 585-643-3717 or shoot us an email at info at